I would have never guessed when I started working with Neil and Jeff and just having lunch with them and just being you know, a friend that it would have resulted in this. My name is Bill Ajo and I'm the CEO of VidAngel. Well, probably the thing that was most formative in my life is uh, my childhood. And I had an unusual childhood. Um, I was adopted twice. Um, and the second time, uh, I knew of, I've known about all my life. That was when I was 11 years old. But the first time I found out just a few years ago that I was in fact adopted at birth. Not, um, not an official transaction, but one off the record, not on my birth certificate. So that's been, uh, that's been enlightening for me. And uh, so as a child, I really went through three different periods. The first was one through seven when I lived with a lot of different families. My mother would have me live with different people. And then at seven, I was taken away from my mother and became a ward of the state, I lived in foster homes and, and uh, uh, children's homes and things. And then at 11, I was adopted legally by a very nice couple, an older couple in Duluth, Minnesota. If you looked at that with a glass half empty, you'd say, oh, what a terrible, traumatic childhood. Now the glass half full perspective would be a lot of who I am and a lot of the good things about me came as a result of that. And, and frankly, the fact that I was adopted at 11, that doesn't happen. Most kids at 11 years old in the system, you just go from foster home to foster home until you're 18 and, they, and you're on your own. The fact that I was adopted by a couple that wanted to have a child and that loved me, you know, that, was, that changed everything. My being at Bid Angel is really a, a, a story of relationship. I'd known the Harmon brothers, Jeff uh, and Neil, for a long time since they started the company and had been a friend of theirs and had been a sounding board and had helped out wherever I could. So uh, in 2020, when Neil called me up and said, hey, would you like to be president of our, uh, uh, of our filtering business? I said, yeah, I kind of would like to do that. So Neil and Jeff first got together with me because uh, I had some experience in the industry and in fact had passed, had, had worked in, in uh, Washington to get something called the Family Movie Act passed. And so their thoughts were, hey, how do you do that? <laughs> and, uh, and how do we navigate the waters with the studios? And so that's how I got involved. I would have never guessed when I started working with Neil and Jeff and just having lunch with them and just being you know, a friend that it would have resulted in this. But, but I took the job as president and two months later, they decided that they really wanted to exit that business and focus their attention on, um, on the studio business. They'd already done The Chosen, they'd done Dry Bar Comedy, these were big hits, and that's where they wanted to be. So two months after this job that I took, it was like, well, we want to sell it. And I'm like, well, I'll buy it. <laughs> and, 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 and it's been an extraordinary ride. I mean, we've been very fortunate. Business has doubled. We've invested in product, invested in marketing. There's no bankruptcy. There's no, uh, you know, um, uh, there's no issues with, with Hollywood. All of that's great, but it came from this kind of long-term relationship that, that I had with the Harmon Brothers. The most, the most important relationship at Bit Angel is the relationship we have with our employees. We, uh, we call ourselves employee-centric, and, and that means that everything we do is, is viewed from the prism of how does it impact our employees. Our employees are, uh, are the owners of the company. In fact, they're the majority owners of the company. I tell them, uh, I tell them, listen, if I'm not doing a good job, you guys, you know you can fire me. You know you have the power to do that, and, and they, in fact, do. Um, we, uh, it's not just with the benefits, and, uh, but, but just how we, we believe that if we have a great relationship with our employees, they will have a relationship with each other, they'll care about each other, they love each other, and, uh, and that there translates to the customer. The customer senses that and feels that and everything we do is that, it's, that at the heart of it is, is a genuine caring. 